Hello everyone, Oli Gamer Boy is here. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to set up Pocket Mine, a Minecraft Bedrock server on Oracle's always free MPS server. For the first step, you need to sign up for an Oracle Cloud account which requires a credit or debit card. I already done the sign up process and logged in as you can see in this page. Once logged in, go to the three bars, click Compute, click Instance. Create instance. Name your instance. I name it Minecraft Bedrock Tutorial. Then go to Image and Shape. Click on Edit. Click Change Image. Click on Canonical Ubuntu. Click Select Image. Then a Shape. Click Change Shape. Click Ampere. Click VM standard A1 flex. Click the checkbox, then you drag for two OCPUs and 12 gigabytes of memory. Click select shape. This is always free, so not to worry. Click on save private key. We will need this later, so please click that button. Now, minimize the browser window. Go to new folder. I name it server key. Open that folder. Go to the downloads folder. Drag and drop the key into the folder. This is the most important file we need later. So keep it very safe. I'll close the folder for now. Go back to the browser. Click create and ignore these options. Just leave it as is. Click create. Now let it provision. This will take some time. If you need to, you can refresh the page to check. This will take some time. So be please be very patient. While waiting, you can convert the keys for party. Go to search. Party gen. Conversions, import key, go to desktop and the uh, location you save your key, click on the key you saved. Click save private key, click yes to save the private key without a pass brace. We don't need the pass brace. Name your key. For me, I'm naming it Minecraft server key. Click save and close party key generator. Once you get the server running, you can now do the SSH using party. Go to party. Copy the IP address. Click copy. Paste the IP address. Then go to data. Type the, the username you ban to. Go to SSH. Press this plus button. Go to AUTH, click browse, go to the desktop, then the server key folder or whatever location you save the key and generate the key. Press on the converted key. For me, it's this Minecraft server key I just converted. Then click open. Click accept. And boom, you are in the server. Now, once the SSH is working, you can now do the port forwarding. Go to the three bars again. Networking, virtual cloud network. Click on VCN this. Go to subnet. Go to default security list. Now we have to add the port. Add ingress rules. Let me refer to the port number in my comments folder, which is 19132. Copy this. This is the port number I'll be using. The source CDR is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. Destination port is 19132 TCP. Then add another ingress rule. Type 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. The TCP protocol will be UTP. 
same same port number press at ingress rule okay once you're done with this ingress rule related stuff let's go to the actual server and its commands this is the command list i had and this is the server shell first thing is make dir minecraft then cd minecraft once you're in the minecraft folder do sudo add get update this will update whatever system packages you have check for updates and update if necessary then sudo app get upgrade which will upgrade every packages in your system which is important for later press y let it upgrade this will take some time press enter to defer restarts then copy paste this command sudo app get ignore missing install make auto config auto make blah 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 this command this will install the necessary package required for the pocket mine to run and compile press y let them install the package this will take some time press enter after which now for the pipe to install pocket mine copy we get q o h t t p get palm i o bash s this will download and install pocket mine this will take some time so please be very patient Once Pocket Mine is done installing, the next command is sudo chmod r0777 home Ubuntu Minecraft. This will give the directory permission to run the start.sh. Once done, enter dot slash start dot sh to begin the world generation. Once you get this, Please select a language, press ENG, accept the license agreement. You can choose to skip the setup wizard or continue the setup wizard. I'll just continue the setup wizard. I get the external and internal IP of the server. Now press enter. Let the world generate. Once it reaches 100%, press Ctrl C to kill the server then now we do the port forwarding for the server side the first command is sudo ip tables command this command to open port 19132 for the input tcp port then the second one is to open the udv input ports for 19132 the third command is to open the output TCB port for the server. And finally, the fourth command for the sudo IP tables is to open the port for the UDP output. Then, sudo net filter persistent save to save the forwarding information. Then, reload to reload the new tables. Finally, sudo IPF to flush the IP tables to ensure that the IP tables is the latest one. Finally, screen dot slash start sh to keep the server running in the background despite the SSH window being closed. Once you get done, 
now you can open up your Minecraft client, your Minecraft Bedrock client. Open that. Go back to Oracle Cloud, press the three bar, go to Compute, go to Instance. Go to your server. Copy the IP address. Go to Play. Go to Server. Now, at Server. Enter the server name. I cannot call it Bedrock. Bedrock. Not TikTok. Tutorial. Paste the IP address. Play. Let it connect to the external server. And boom. The server works. As you can see, I'm now in the server. I can show you the SSH site. I joined the game, as you can see. I can show you why the screen dot start to sh. I can show you. Wait, I just explore around a bit. It's working fine. I will save and quit. I will close the sh window. Press OK. It's closed now. I go back to Bedrock tutorial. Click join server. And boom, I'm back into the server. Even though the SSH slows, it will run for 24 hours or 24-7 without having you to rely on SSH window. That's why the screen command is for. I really hope you enjoy my tutorial video. Please like and comment my video, share my video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, please do check out my Twitch as I play mini racing games. The Twitch link will be in the description below. And see you in the next tutorial video, videos, or even live streams.